Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Shaw, and this math treat is about the game Spot It. If you've never seen this game, it's a really fun little simple game that you can play with a group of friends. What you'll notice is we have these round cards, and on every card there are a bunch of different symbols. There's light bulbs and milk bottles and candles and all these different symbols. And what's fascinating about this game is that if I choose any two cards at random like this, there will always be exactly one symbol that matches on both cards. In this case, the light bulb is on both cards. None of the other symbols will match. And that's true of every single set of cards that you can pick out in this deck. If I pick these two, I will find something that matches. So you can play this game, it's a lot of fun, but for me, it really begs this question of, how did they even make this thing? Like, how magical is this that no matter what I pick out of here, I will always be able to find one symbol on here that is also on here. That's fascinating to me. So our exploration today is gonna to be to try and make our own spotted decks. And we'll start with, as we often do, with a really simple question. So in this case, if you look at the, this deck, you'll notice that there are eight symbols on every card. So if we flip through the deck and we counted the symbols, there's eight on every card. And they end up with you know about this many cards, 50 some cards in this spotted deck with eight symbols on every card. Okay, that's a lot for us to figure out. So let's start with something really simple. What if I wanted to create a spotted deck where there were only two symbols on every card? Could I do it? Now, a lot of questions are gonna come up here. For example, uh, how many cards can you make that have this property, property where every card has one symbol in common with every other card? They always match in a pair where there's exactly one matching item? That's an interesting question. How many symbols do you even need? Like, there's so many different kinds of symbols on these cards, ladybugs, igloos, man, the word okay, cheese, snowflake. How many symbols do you need to make a deck like this? Right, so let's explore some of those questions by taking a look at what would it look like if we just wanted to make a really simple deck with just two symbols on every card. So let me do that now. So let's imagine we have a, a reservoir a bucket of symbols that we can choose to put on the cards. And I will just use letters because I'm not so good at drawing different pictures and whatnot. So I'm gonna use letters to represent the symbols on the cards. And I wanna create a deck that has two symbols on every card. So let me make the first card. And on that card, I'll put, I'll grab one of my symbols, the A, and I'll grab the next one, the B. And there's my first card, it has an A and a B. If I want to make a second card for my spotted deck, I draw another circle. Now I need this card to match the original card with one of the symbols. So this card needs to have either an A or a B on it, otherwise it won't match. So let me go ahead and use the A again. Now, I cannot put a B on here because then these, these would match with two symbols. You never have two symbols that match, always exactly one. So. I can't use the B anymore. I need a new symbol from my bank over there. I'll just use the C. And this card has A and C. And I could keep doing this. I could create another card. And maybe it has A. And it can't have B because that would be a double match. And it can't have C because that would be a double match. So it's got to have D and I could keep going. Now this would be a very boring game of spot it. Every card would match every other card because they all have an A on them. That's kind of boring. So we'll add one other rule, which is that you can't have one symbol that just appears on all the cards because that's not a fun game of spot it. So let's see what happens if we try to make a card that does not have an A on it. So I'll make a new card and I won't use A, so I'll just go ahead and use B. And I, I need this card to have exactly one match with all the other cards. So does it have a match with this? Yes, awesome. Can I put A on here now? I cannot because this would be double, it would have an A and a B match. So I can't use A anymore on this card. Uh, but I did make a match with that one. 
Now I need to match with this one. I'm not allowed to use the A. I've got to use the C. So I'll do that. Now I've got to match with this one. Now how can I match this card with this one? Again, I can't use the A because I'll have a double match here. And I can't use the I can't put a D on here because I'm only allowed to have two symbols on every card. So there's there's no way this is like an X. There's no way to match those up. So I need to get rid of this card. I can't have this card. And so I think we have a complete spotted deck when you put two symbols in every card. You get a three card deck that looks like this. Now this would be a pretty boring game of spot it, but at least we've created the deck. And you'll notice that I wasn't able to make a third card that had A on it because I wasn't going to be able to put a symbol on here to make it match up. So it seems like, if you notice, that every letter, every symbol, appears twice. And I have two symbols on every card. Okay, so now the challenge for this math treat is can you get some index cards or some playing cards or cut up some paper to make some cards and create a deck where there are three symbols on every card? And then if you can do that, four symbols on every card. And the questions I want you to answer are, well, what do the cards look like, of course? How many cards will you have in total if you make all the possible cards? And how many symbols will you need in total to make all of those cards? Here, we used two symbols on every card. We needed three symbols, and we were able to make three cards. That was our spotted deck. Let's, let me get you started on what would happen if we try to make a deck with three symbols on every card. So we'll erase this, off you go, we'll make a card here, and this time we'll go A, B, C. We'll pull out three symbols from my list, and we want to pair this up with another card. We'll make another one, we'll do A again, but I can't use B and C, so I'll go and grab D and E, and I'll make those, and I could grab, I could do another one, A, and maybe I, I want to, um, I'll make A again, can't use B and C, I can't use D and E, so I gotta go with, what, F and G, and I could keep doing that. Maybe you wanna make another one, I don't know. Now let me try to make one that doesn't have an A on it. So I'll make one here, oh, that's a little small. Make a little bigger, and put a B on it. Good, I have a match there. By the way, this matches with this with A, and that matches with that by A, and this matches with this by A, so they're kind of all connected like that. Okay. I've got a B on there. Now that I've used B, I can no longer use A and C because if I did, this card would match this one with more than one symbol. So A and C are gone, can't use them. I could use D, and that's good because then that would connect with this. Cool, now that I've connected with this, I can't use A and E. I also couldn't use B and C, so I've used A, B, C, D, and E. Those are all gone. I could put an F on there, and I've made a card that matches with all of the cards that came before it. Can you add another card? I don't know. Let's add another card. There we go. Now keep in mind, here I've got three A's. If I had created, let's create one more card over here that has A with two new symbols, H and I, right? E, F, G, H, I, like that. Would I be able to connect this card with this card? Well. No, because I'm out of symbols. There's nothing left for me to write on here. And I can't use A because of that. And I can't put an H or an I on. I don't have enough space. So this card can't exist because it wouldn't be able to match up with all the rest. So that's kind of like our previous example. I tried to make AD and I couldn't get it to connect up with BC. So that tells me that this symbol A can only appear three times in the game. Uh, if it appears again, it has to be paired with new letters because it's already been paired with B, C, D, E, and F, G, and then I won't be able to connect that up with everything else. So right now I've got seven symbols up here and I'm trying to kind of finish out my deck. Now whatever applies to A, A is not special, so that also applies to B and C and D. So all the symbols I don't think they can appear in this deck more than three times because there's only three on each card so I can only 
connect up with three things. So I've used B twice. Let me see if I can use B again. That's good. That'll connect with this and with that. Can I now, now, now that I've connected with those, I can't use A or C or D or F, but I could use E. So if I put E on here, that'll connect with this one and not connect with these. And it doesn't connect with that yet. So I guess I could use F and that would connect with this. And I don't think I have any cards that have a double where there's two symbols that match. That connects with that only once. That connects with E only once, F only once. Ooh, mistake. Ah, B and F, B and F. So I need to get rid of that. I guess I can use G instead. Aha, so you gotta be careful that you don't end up with those doubles. Keep checking your work as you go. But now I think I have at least five cards made in this deck. Can you add more cards? Is there another card that you can make? Is there another card you can make? When will you be done adding cards to this deck? Then make a deck and then you can play spot it with your deck. And then of course try doing it for four symbols. And if you get really ambitious, you could try and actually recreate the eight symbol actual spot it deck. That is your math treat. Enjoy exploring the mathematics behind how spot it works. It's pretty cool stuff. And as always, just have fun playing with the math.